Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, my Rex channel. Today we're going to be making a female shirt with a notched collar, right? That's going to be our area of concentration, but we're going to be cutting the shirt together here. But we're going to be looking at how to make a notched collar here. So to get started, you need a piece of fabric folded into this way with the open sides facing you. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. And then you want to go ahead to measure or take your start point that's your start line yeah we've gotten this next thing we want to do is to fold our fabric all right like i said earlier you need to have the open sides facing you in this manner so the next thing you want to do you want to measure out four inches you can use four inches or three and a half inches so i'm gonna help to measure here and i have four inches all right and then what you want to do right now is to fold over your four inches line this is my four inches line right here. All you want to do is fold over this way neatly. So we're going to tag that on down using our pressing iron. Fully. Tag that down using my pressing iron. And then this is what I have right here. I believe we can all see this. Okay. So here's our four inches fold. Alright. The next thing you want to do is to measure out half inch in this way and that's where we're going to start all our measurements that's where we're going to take all our measurements from so you're going to tag and um, mark half inch from this folded part straight down here we have our half inch so we're going to take our measurement this way from the folded edge okay but before then we're going to take the horizontal measurement now we'll be taking the chest measurement that's the bust point for a female for the male the chest measurement for this um tutorial we're going to be making use of nine and a half inches okay and we have nine and a half somewhere around here all right and then for the waist round the belly is about 16 inches which is somewhere around here okay so we have nine and a half around here and then our hemline which is 17 inches okay so i'll just rule that out so that we can see clearly yes so this we're going to place our bust measurement here and on this line we're going to place our waist measurement for this tutorial we're going to be taking and um, the bust measurement is 34 and a half inches and we're going to be dividing that by four which will give us about eight and a half and a point so you want to mark eight and a half and a point from this line remember the half inch line which we drew which we marked on the um, folded part right so you're going to place your eight and a half eight and a half and, 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 and a point on this line and then mark we're going to add also half inch allowance for ease all right for ease so that your clothes will not be too tight on you and then one inch side seam allowance so that's one and a half added to it now for the waist measurement our waist measurement is 29 which is divided by four is seven one quarter and a point also so you're going to place this here i remember we're adding half inch also for um the the ease all right and then one inch for side seam allowance so that's one and a half and then for the hip finally the hip measurements we're using is 39 inches. 39 inches divided by 4 will give us 9 three quarter. So you want to do then 9 three quarter from this point. You mark it out and then half inch also for ease. Or you can make this part, this hip, um, the hip line, the, that's the hem line. Instead of using half inch, you can use three quarter inches for the ease so that you have more allowance there and then one inch for side seam. Allowance. So here we have a point here, here, and here. Okay. Now at this point here, if you look at this, you're going to find out that you're having a very um shapey look right here. Let me sketch that out so that we can see. And sometimes it may not look so good. You may not just fancy it having it look that way because the client who has this fabric is actually very slim around the waistline, which is about 29 inches so what you want to do is you want to also come out a little so that the the, the, the clothes the, the outfit can have some 
nice look okay the shirt doesn't really have to be um too fitted and even though it has to be then you can apply that so that the side seam allowance can be straight and look beautiful and um, classy also but look, having this curve it's it's very curvy I, I, I believe we can all see that so we're going to come out by three quarter inches here also and then we're going to join this to this and then to this so i'm going to make it on my ruler to mark this out here and then mark to this we can see clearly now you can see that we have been able to take out this curved part here making it look funny all right so it depends on your choice if you want to add or introduce that then you can do that at this point bring whatever thing you added up here and then make that and take it out from this part so that you give the dress a fitted look but for this tutorial we're going to be doing it like this because it's actually a two-piece dress and it's usually very free it's like a shift sh dress also but this happens to be a shirt so we're going to be moving up to the shoulder here our shoulder that we're going to be using is 15 inches and 15 inches divided by two is seven and a half we'll add a half inch allowance making it eight inches yes so for this tutorial the neck round neck measurement since we're going to be having a collar like i said we're going to be making a notch collar and then at this point what you want to do is to be on the safe side start small we're going to be using width two inches and depth two inches when we're done with our sewing and coupling we're going to measure around to check the the, the measurements if it's if it might be less than 14 but it's better to start small so you don't have a wide neck and then maybe have to record all over again so we're going to start with two inches width and two inches depth this way and then you want to use your curve ruler to curve that out it might look too small right now but you, i assure you you don't want to have or be in a position where you cut out a small neckline and then you'll be stranded you might have to recut the entire fabric from scratch once again so right here at this shoulder line here we're going to be coming down by one inch okay and then what you want to do is join that up with the neck line here to the width about this point i believe we can all see that the next thing we want to do is to come down our armhole now i use a standard for this and that is the measurement of the across back which is the shoulder here we use seven and a half inches and that being as in that's the shoulder divided by two which is seven and a half inches so we're going to be using that here it always works for me i believe it should do the same for you so instead of using seven and a half i'm going to be making this six three quarter because our back is going to come to the front with about half or one inch or thereabout and you don't want to sh your your round arm to be too wide so that you don't have a very big um, sleeve opening all right so we're we'll making this six and a half instead of seven and a half all right i hope we're, I, I believe we're following and um, when i cut this out i'm very sure we'll see clearly and then we'll understand probably i'll just take a recap when i cut for better understanding so here to get uh the the, the line so that we can we, we'll be on the safe side remember from this half inch line here we measured half of the the shoulder which is seven and a half inches and then half into joint which makes it eight so you want to make it make a box with it using eight inches right here just to be sure that you have a straight line you want to connect that to the one on the shoulder line this way and then you meet you are uh, you put um drag this one or this line up here we're almost done with our shirt and that is almost it then what we want to do is to come this way get the midpoint of this here we have six and a half so the midpoint is about three one quarter you want to come in by quarter of an inch or half of an inch just to take out the excesses from the armhole and then you want to join or use your curve ruler to join this line these marks out in this manner so guys if you've watched till this time i want to indulge you to please go ahead and click the subscribe button and support your girl ray rex all right i appreciate every one of you for coming back for watching my videos thank you so very much all right we're about to cut but before we do so from the hem here you want to come up by about three inches just to make the curve at the hem from the sides so it just gives it that beauty so what you want to do is come up here by three inches in this manner okay and then what you want to do is using your curve ruler or you can even use your free hand all right just make a curve this way to the hem of the dress in this manner 
I believe we can all see that. So as you can see, our shirt is coming out nice already. Yes, there's one more thing to be done on this, and then we'll move on to we'll move on to the back piece. All right. At this point, we're going to cut. So let's start from the hem here, right here. You want to cut from this point. I said earlier I'm going to take a recap when I'm done cutting. So right here in front of us is our front piece looking so beautiful remember the first thing i did was to take half inch in here and then took our measurements this way bearing in mind to add um your ease all right here we used half inch on the waist we used about one inch or thereabouts and then at the hip also we used half three quarter inches three quarter inch rather at the hip and then we went ahead to cut the neckline and this part Remember I said the back piece is going to fold over to the front just a little around the shoulder there. So what you want to do is to reduce this. I mean, the back is going to come down with about one inch, right? That means you're reducing the front piece with about one inch. But instead of reducing, let me do this so that you can see clearly. Now you're reducing with one inch and one inch is about this line. Let me, let me use my free hand so that we can all see that. That is this line but remember that we will need half of an inch to join this front piece to the back piece so we're going to be cutting only half inch out i, I hope we got that we're going to be cutting out just half inch of this part on this front piece and then our front is our back piece is going to complete the other half okay so we're going to go ahead to trim out this part which is about half inch all right and then we're going to add it on to the back piece okay guys we're back and then i've Cut out the front side the front piece and then gone ahead to fold the back piece now take note the back piece remember at the front piece we had the, the open part facing you you cutting but for the back piece here it's enclosed the, the the folded edge should be facing you this way and then the open part should be your side seam allowance area so you're going to place your front piece on the back piece on the folded part now this is what you do this four half inch line which we made when we started you're going to place it on the same line as the fold i hope you can see this clearly all right place on the fold do not place equally place on the line let the line be in line with the fold of the second i mean the back piece i hope you understand what i am saying now remember that we reduce the back piece by half of an inch i'll say that again we reduce the back piece by half of an inch it was supposed to be one inch but one inch half inch was instead used for um the sewing allowance so we're going to add it up here on the sleeve now remember i said we're going to add up one inch okay so i'm going to um mark one inch here from this point like this now this is what we will have so i'm having so many lines there but I'll, I'll cut it out and then show you what i did there Okay, now I've made that the, the line pronounced so that we can see. So from this point here, all right, from the first the first piece um, line here, I, I measured one inch ahead, all right, one inch this way. Now our sewing allowance is going to be up also. So what we're going to do, you want to cut this out, all right? Let's do that so that we can see clearly. Okay, now I've gone ahead to cut so that we can see clearly what I'm about to do. Now remember I said from this point here, from the front piece here, I measured 
one inch and then this is our half, half inch allowance which i'm going to use to sew it onto this half inch on the front thing so if we do this by joining this to our half inch here you'd notice that our measurement will be correct now how do you get to know if your measurement is correct remember you did depth of two and a half inches now take a look this is our two and a half inches line here from this point take a look this is our two and a half inches line here so we're on the right part so what you want to do at this point is to fold over this way once again and then from this part here cut out using this point once you get to this line here you stop okay once you just get down this way just to get the notch so that you know where you're cutting from and then you fold over you come down this way using remember there's a slant there so we're going to be coming down from this particular line here which we mark one inch we're going to be coming down by three quarter inches and then you want to cut this way remember i said it's better to cut small and then after joining your pieces you get to find out that the neck is small and then you cut it again it's better it's safer that way rather i think that's the right word to use it's safer to do it that way so this is what we have and then trust me our shirt is almost done it's halfway done now this is all that we have to do okay the the sleeve the what's it called the armhole we didn't even cut for the back so we're going to be doing that right here we're going to cut leaving about quarter of an inch space and then this way and that is it all right now this is what we have here so basically this is how to cut our shirt with the notch collar so we're going to go onto our machine right now to sew up our the, the the shoulder lines now this is the back piece okay what you want to do is so this front piece here using half of an inch this way and half of an inch this way to sew this one this here okay and this first we're going to do that first and then i'll come back to show you what is next to do okay guys i'm back and um i've sewn it at the, sh at the shoulder here but the side the, the the side seam allowance are still intact i haven't sewn that so the next thing we're going to do is to work on the notch color remember i said that's an area of concentration for this tutorial but sorry i did something off camera i need to tell you what i did remember i used the width two inches and then the the width two inches and then the depth of the neck two inches also but after joining this shoulder i went ahead to measure and i saw that it was less than 14 inches i was having about 10 inches so i simply put them together this way and then i came down by about half inch all right i came down by that curve there by half inch and then cut to just the shoulder line i didn't go back i didn't take it back to the i didn't take it to the back all right i hope you understand and this is actually the pieces of what i cut out on both sides of the front i'm so sorry i did that off camera i didn't know my camera went off so that was just what i did off camera if you can see clearly you find out that everything like see uh the um, what's it called the round arm the round arm meets each other they are equal here and here and the hem also equal if you also look closely you find out that the back piece folded into the front with about three quarter of three quarter inch okay you can you can see that here this is where the seam allowance is all right so now listen carefully okay the next thing we want to do right now is here at the fold this four inches fold what you want to do is make a notch on both sides this notch is to guide you okay now we're going to make notch i've made notches on the both sides okay i folded in i folded it this way and then giving it a good press for both sides so this is actually the good side and this is the back side okay so i've done i've gone ahead to make notches on both sides now the next thing you want to do is this is the front side that's the good um, side of the fabric and this is the back what you want to do is fold over front side facing front side fold over with your notch here you could measure this or simply eyeball it huh? But I'm going to be eyeballing it. But um, the measurement you need is about one inch or one and a half inch. You see here, I have one and a half inches. That's good for us. I think we're safe if you have something like that. This is so that you have that lap just by the collar that that falls. I mean, that slips, just goes down and rests perfectly on the chest there. Okay. 
this is what we're trying to achieve so we're going to do that about one and a half inches and then we'll not take a, make another notch okay all right this is it so now we have two notches the four inches notch we have two notches the four inches notch see the crease of the four inches unfold the four inches notch and then this which is about one and a half inches away from this towards the shoulder line okay so you're going to do this repeat this on the other sides but to be on the safe side it's better to just place them together this way and then cut out okay so this is the first notch here so this is the second notch here so i'm going to place it and then cut it out this is it here and that is it now the next thing we want to do now is to measure from this second notch this new notch round to the second the other notch on the other side okay i hope you understand this is our four inches squeeze four inches squeeze notch this is the new notch which i made just now with one and a half inches now you get to measure from here to the shoulder line around the back back to the next notch not the four inches notch where you have the crease i hope you get it so we're going to go ahead to measure that now take note this doesn't have to be the full round measurement of the neck because remember this is not like the normal basic neck where you can use you can you can um, button it up this so you don't have to button it up so it doesn't have to cover up the entire neck okay so we're almost there and then i have about 13 inches right here perfect we have 13 inches so we're going to introduce our collar i, I said earlier that you can make use of the collar gum but i was so what i meant was a cloth gum but you know what i just checked now and i couldn't find my cloth gum and what i stumbled on was a collar gum you can as well use make use of this all right but you just need something that has structure so that it stays in place when you fold it over all right it stays in place so we're going to be making use of this collar gum we're going to fold over to measure about six, um, 13 inches. So 13 inches on fold is about six and a half inches. So we want to do this. Okay. Now at this point, you can make use of the, 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 the width. You can make use of um, three inches, three and a half, two and a half, even two inches. Now it solely depends on your preference. All right what you want but for this tutorial we'll be making use of three inches so i'm going to take my three inches mark this way and then this way i'm going to rule that out and then cut out yeah so this is what we have okay now we have our color gum already cut 13 inches by 3 inches okay the next thing we want to do is to place our fabric that's what to use for the color for the color okay here we have a piece of fabric that we want to use that we're going to be using for this okay so you want to place this where you have the gum facing the wrong side of the fabric facing the wrong side of the fabric in this manner remember to have about half of an inch on this edge so that you can use it to fold over so at this point now we're going to tack this down using a hot iron to put it in place and then we'll go ahead Okay, I've gone ahead to iron this out, all right, placing the color gum right facing the back, no, the back side, all right. So at this point, we're going to fold over, let me cut out half of an inch. We're going to fold this over this way and tag it down with an iron, all right, just to keep it in place. After ironing down, this is what we have. All right so what you want to do first is to sew this way right before i take it to the sewing machine this is the first thing to do all right 
we're going to sew here just to tack this down on this part i hope we can see that clearly i'm only trying to make you know what i'm going to do i'll actually show you when i get to the machine but just we're just going to tack this down all right on this part and then we're going to fold over this way front side facing front side this way with half of an inch left here i'll take that again after ironing down the gum stay to the fabric on the wrong side of the fabric i hide i left half of an inch on this part here and after doing that i folded it over and giving i gave it a good press and that's why you see it lapping over it this way we're going to go ahead before doing anything to sew down tagging it down we're going to just sew across on it here neatly on a straight line and then we're going to fold over this way and then in fact let's just go to the sewing machine and then. Okay, this is our fabric right here all right and then remember that i said we folded this over so i said we're going to tag this down all right with the stitch so we're going to go ahead and do that we successfully tack that down neatly and then the next thing we want to do is to fold over fold over this way all right just like you want to just like you do to your not your 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 collar just fold over okay fold over front side facing front side this way and then you sew from the end of the collar gum all right this way and on the other side here okay at this point right now what you want to do is to fold over like to open it up all right this way You just do this and then give it a good press so that it just slips right where you want it to be so we're going to um attach this collar to the dress now you want to listen carefully so you don't miss out on the thing right here is the neckline all right i remember we have two notches okay we have the four inches um notch here and then the second one which we made so what you want to do is to fold over your four inch or inches notch this way i only folded over a four inches notch this way okay this way to meet the other notch and then this i hope you understand what i'm saying okay i'll say that again this is our first four inches notch and then this is our one and a half inches notch right here so i said you fold over your notch the four inches notch front side facing front side okay you're trying to create that effect the, the lapel effect in front so what you want to do is fold over this way for the, the the notches to touch themselves and then you want to place it on your foot your presser foot this way you're going to be sewing with about quarter of an inch all right this right here is where I have the second notch okay and that is where I'll have to introduce my collar all right that's where I have to introduce my collar so here where I have the second notch I'm going to sew till I get to that point using quarter of an inch okay I'm there now now the next thing for me to do is to place it this way now with this excess this um extra half inch allowance which I added okay I hope you can see that clearly I went ahead to trim off the excesses on the inside and then I folded it out and then this is what we have I also cut out the excess on this other part here leaving about half of an inch that we would use to sew the collar onto the notch collar onto the main onto the main dress with this half inch extra allowance which we placed here you place this okay this way you have this folded part on the top then all this other one down here what you want to do is place it where you have you remain let your your needle your machine needle remain inside the machine to hold or tack down your dress while you can raise your footer up just to place this to put it in place right there okay you want to make sure that you're sewing all three together remember we're sewing the main fabric the collar and then this other folded edge all together okay i hope you can see that clearly all right so this is one this is the collar which is the second one and then the fabric you want to make sure that your you're, you're sewing all three together with half of an inch be sure not to sew on 
the folded edge okay you can stop at intervals just to put them in place and be sure you're doing the right thing okay once you get to where this fold stops Mm -hmm. just like where i am right now you stop here i'm going to stop here and then go over to the other side the other side of the collar okay now we're going to repeat the same procedure the same step we took folding your four inches this way for this first notch to meet i mean for the second knot to meet themselves okay all right now this is our four inches, inches notch and then this is it meeting itself so we're going to put it down again sewing with quarter of an inch remember that you have to stop here this is where i have the notch using my chalk so that you can see clearly All right so when you get to that point you want to also make sure your, your needle is inside the machine so that you can tag your, your clothes down, the fabric down, while you place the collar in there. So, it's going to be in this form. It's now this way. Okay? Remember to put, you raise your footer up and then place it in there. Yeah. And then now we're going to sew. Make sure that you're holding all three, your machine is sewing all three pieces together be sure not to sew the other fabric the other part which has that has the gum stay okay okay it seemed like it pulled off i'm going to take that again so we're going to place it this way Okay, now we have all three we're going to be sewing this time we're going to sew till you get to the other end we need to cut that out and then at this point what we want to do is to bring out this one this one we sewed here that's like the lapel and then do the same thing here You get to give that a good press. Okay, before that, so that it can lap, let's cut this part off because it looks like we're having some excesses there. Okay, and then we tuck that in. You see how easy that was? Okay, so. now okay so we brought it out all right the next thing we want to do right now is to sew to cover up this okay we're trying to cover this up all right so what we want to do is to sew we're going to be sewing here on this part just to use this to cover this up okay so we're going to start from here So what you just want to do is flip this over this way and then put your machine on, on 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 it right there and then you want to just sew when you get to where this four inches fold stops make a notch let's do the same thing here before we get there so just here where you have the four inches excess this is the excess of the fabric just at the tip at the end there notch this part so that it freely goes in you can freely flip it in so that you can hide it in there okay so we're going to continue here so we'll flip that in so that we can hide that the, the sewing allowance there and then you want to do that easily make sure to sew on the tip so that you can have a nice finishing yeah We're almost done
okay and we're done with our notched notch color okay so we're going to iron this out we're going to iron this out to get <laughs> just keeps going up so you can see how neatly done it is okay so for this inner part what you want to do is use a serger to weave it and then you can go ahead and put your button plackets and the rest of it okay okay so i'm just going to go ahead swap the sides fix the sleeves and then i'll show you what the end result looks like but our, our color here already has a beautiful finishing so if you've watched to this time guys i want to say thank you for watching my video thank you for staying god bless you if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button to show your girls some love and also if you have any comment please drop it on the comment section below i'll be so glad to hear from you thank you so much so when i'm done i'm going to show you what the final look is